Our Board of Education is setting a clear direction for the administration by developing vision, mission, and value statements, along with focus areas and goal statements that many of you took the time to review and offer comments on. In order to fulfill our district's mission of providing relevant, comprehensive, quality instruction that inspires our students to learn, we will be using the guidance provided by the Curriculum Management Audit. The auditors provided us with 10 recommendations listed in order of importance and 63 specific governance actions and 101 specific administrative actions, ranging from revising a policy to setting up a communication structure to communicate our implementation progress to the board and to the community. These actions will be reviewed as part of the board superintendent team's strategic planning process. Let's review the overarching recommendations that they call for. Recommendation number one, a revised table of organization consistent with sound management principles. You will recall that that recommendation was released to us in October and we are already moving forward with a new organizational structure. Recommendation number two called for revised board policies. Number three, a redesigned planning process to provide a coherent focus and improved system connectivity to fulfill the vision of the board and the new leadership. Number four, a comprehensive curriculum management system that integrates curriculum development, staff development, and staff appraisal and provides continuity and consistency across all grade levels and schools. Recommendation number five, a comprehensive plan for student assessment and program evaluation. Number six, institutionalizing instructional best practices. Number seven, monitoring of instructional practices to promote district-wide consistency. Recommendation number eight calls for a coordinated system-wide professional development system. Number nine, equal access to comparable programs, services, and opportunities that impact student achievement. And finally, number 10, a three-year budget plan that aligns district and building level resources to strategic priorities and includes systematic cost-benefit analysis. The recommendations from the audit provide the roadmap we need to improve the district and increase academic excellence in every school. With every action we take, we will ask ourselves, how will this help Jefferson County Public School students? And we will be guided by the board's vision of a school system in which all students have the opportunity and the support they need to reach their full potential and contribute to our society throughout their lives. Thanks for watching this week's Beyond the Headlines. If you have a topic you'd like me to cover, send an email to this address. Have a great week.